Here I am in my workshop, which is also my parents' garage. If you don't already know, my family's going to Argentina for six months. Myself, my husband, and our two kids, not my parents. We have somebody staying in our house, but I cannot leave my workshop looking like this in my parents' garage for six months. So I'm gonna get it all cleaned up because that's the right thing to do. I also have a couple of things that I need to deal with, like this countertop on the top of my workbench. If you follow me on my other social media channels, you know I've been doing a lot of epoxy work. This, the top of this workbench is covered in epoxy. And so it needs to come off and I need to switch it for a different board. I have other boards over here I can use and just organize things and put things back together just so I can leave it in a nice good place so that my parents can utilize their garage and they can find things if they need to. First thing was pulling out all of the workbenches so that I could access all of the stuff behind them and inside of them. Two of the workbenches are mobile. One of them is stationary. The one with the drawers is the stationary one. If you're around for when I had to redo the big cutting bench that I have, I really needed a space where I was able to cut large pieces of plywood without having to put them on the ground. So I made this moving workbench for that. One of the bigger things that I needed to do was put a bunch of scrap wood away. It kind of just piles up over time and I have this really nice organizer that's hung on the wall where I can sort the wood based on the kind of wood it is. So from the bottom, it gets less nice as you go further up the wall. And while I was hoping to get all of this done in one day. It had to be sort of in multiple days because I had to go get a bunch of tile that I had stored at my house that I wanted to bring back and store inside of the stationary workbench. This is actually leftover tile from when my mom redid one of her bathrooms here at this house, but I kept it because the contractor was just going to throw the tile away and I have a plan for it in my bathroom at my house, but I need a better place for it. So I was able to find a spot for it in the workbench and then I was able to throw away all of my tools and all the little things that are kind of just everywhere all over the place. Then it was time to tackle the top of the moving workbench. So like I said, this is absolutely covered in epoxy. There are a couple of places where there is cardboard or wood that is epoxied to the top of this piece. So this was actually a door from an old enclosed workbench that was in this garage that I removed a few years ago. So I luckily have a whole other piece that I can replace it with and I will show you that once I get this pulled off. But the thing is, is once I started pulling out the screws, I realized that some of the screws were covered in epoxy, which was going to make my life a little bit harder. As you can see here, there's really no way to get to the screw unless I sand down the epoxy, which is not what I had planned when doing this, but it is what it is. So I put on my PPE because when you sand down epoxy, you're just putting plastic particles into the air and you don't want to inhale that. And I started sanding. Because I was just trying to get to the screw heads, I used 40 grit sandpaper and I was able to quickly get to the screws and unscrew them. A few of them ended up being stripped and so I had to use different drill bits in order to get them out, but it all worked out and I was pretty happy at how quickly I was able to get this done. Because stuff like this tends to take longer than expected, but this time it took less time than expected, which is always a nice surprise. Then it was time for the new top for the workbench. Like I said, I had the other door from the enclosed workbench that I was able to pull out of my larger stack of scrap wood over here in this section of the garage and get it on top of the table. It was a little tricky getting it unwedged from the space that it was in. And it is kind of heavy because it is pretty thick plywood and it is double stacked. So there's two pieces of plywood stacked on top of each other that are glued together, which is nice because it makes it really sturdy, but it was just kind of heavy. Once I got it on there, I got everything lined up and I screwed the piece in. I did not cut the cutting groove that I had in the last piece because I'm going to be gone for six months and I don't need to worry about that right now. I will do it when I get back and I will be sure to show you how I do that when it is time for that because it's actually super helpful. Then it was time to make sure everything was put back together and put everything away, including some stuff in the over the car storage in the garage. It looks really good. It's all cleaned up and I can now leave for six months.